All right. We are live. We're going to play Felix the Cat. I'm playing this on PlayStation 5. They brought this back on to, like, modern consoles. And I think they even did, like, a physical release through Limited Run Games. It has the console version and the Game Boy version and also the Japanese version, interestingly enough. Now, I actually have a physical copy of this game on the NES. It's kind of rare now. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll check it out. We're going to play just a little bit. I, uh, let's do, we got filters, we got D flicker, we got borders, native, full, we'll do a filter, no, we won't do a filter, save, quit, okay, um, confirm, now I am starting to stream a lot later than I, uh, I usually do. Uh, I think I did a review of this game, actually, on the channel back in the day. I think maybe, like, a decade ago? Holy crap, I did a review of this game on the channel. Do, 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 do. So it's an okay game. Um, it's not bad. I would prefer the X button to be jumped, but... We can just work with this. So you get enough uh, of these little Felix things. And I think your your attack gets bigger. There's milk. Kind of like how I milk content. I mean, it's not too bad. I think it's pretty solid of an NES game. There we go. That's the next attack. So eventually you get like um, like a tank. Alright, so we're in good shape. Thought I had the D flickering on. So it wouldn't flicker as much, but I guess, uh. Okay, so. Oh, shit. So you revert when you get hit to the previous, um. Previous attack. Oh, this is the bonus stage right here. The bonus. Honestly, the attacks aren't too great. There we go. We got the little, like, I guess, airplane. Airplane vehicle, and then after this becomes a tank. Booyah. Does that really say I have 43, 43 lives, or is that 43 of the little things I've picked up? Oh, I have two lives. So I guess when you collect 100 of those little Felix photos, it becomes, uh, becomes like a free man or something like that. What's up, A Styles? Is my microphone working? Check, 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 check. Yo. Test. Okay, it is working. Earlier it was kind of fucking up on me. Messing up just a hair. Seems like there's a pretty low attendance tonight, but it's because I started late. Started a little late. Here we go, we got the tank. The one thing I don't like about the tank, though, is that, uh, the attack sucks. Oh. Okay, I just died. Luckily, you have a rewind on this version of the game. That's cool. It has, like, a little VCR flicker. I wonder what the trophies are, if they have trophies. So yeah, Limited Run Games apparently uh, put a physical out of this game as well. Uh, I didn't order it. I'm still kind of 
low-key uh, boycotting Limited Run. What's up, Fork? Felix the Cat movie? I don't remember the Felix the Cat movie, but I do remember watching some various Felix the Cat cartoons back in the day. I actually like the actual old school Felix the Cat. What's up, Spectacular Webhead? So I actually reviewed this game before on my channel a um, long time ago, back in the day. Maybe I'll have us watch the review here soon, shortly. We can watch the review. I think I did it in 2014 or 15, somewhere around there. Maybe even uh, 2016. Felix is from 1988. Well, the original Felix is from the 19 like 40s or 30s, and then they brought it back out like in the 80s. Every once in a while, they'll reboot Felix. They'll do like a new Felix series. Oh shit! Rewind. It's not cheating. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't get to watch that Felix movie from the 80s. Was it pretty good? The level designs in this game are pretty fucking basic. Now that little hamster, what is it? You remember liking it? Yeah, I didn't check it out. There was a lot of good movies in that era, though. Like, cartoon movies, animated movies. And, like, 89, 88. What's up, Anthony Smith? How you doing, man? Good to see you. Boss fight. Rewinding. I keep thinking the R2 is the is the rewind. Not much. Well, I'm glad to see all you guys here, guys. Appreciate it. I know I, I started way fucking later. I started like two, three hours later than I usually do tonight. I just had a busy fucking night. Uh, I had, after I got off of training today, I had a, a few other things I had to, uh, had to attend to and had kind of a busy night. But I'm here. I wanted to at least come on, even if it was for a little bit. I wasn't expecting too many people to show up since it's this late, but... I wanted to uh, to at least make an appearance for you guys. Wow, that's pretty cool. I didn't know uh, didn't know Tigra voiced in the movie. What's up, Gabriel? My throne. Oh shit! Was I throwing pancakes? Knucklehead in the house. What's up, dude? Bun Bun Alex, how you doing? What do the little milk things do? Band, 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 band. Gone. Forever. <laughs> oh, sweet. I got a little airplane. The fucking Red Baron. 
You watched a meltdown stream? He had a new one, or what the hell's going on? Banned, banned, banned. Gone. I have no self-control. It's WWE Champions time. God damn it. Back to the pancake shooter. Yeah, it's an edible beer. The voice actor for Felix only did three things in his life. Interesting. What's the voice actor for Felix? What's their name? I didn't even know Felix had a voice. Oh, that was an old stream then. I thought you were talking about a new one. Fargo Lefty says sucking dick was one of the things that the uh, the voice actor for Felix the Cat apparently did. I mean, who am I to judge? Nice game choice. Yeah, I, um... You know, interesting enough. Oh shit, that's creepy. Rewind. I'm gonna show y'all. This also has the Game Boy version and the Japanese version of uh, Felix the Cat on here. Nice fun fact. Exactly. Wait, why is it not letting me? Why was it not letting me go down? Interesting. Scumbag Steve. What's Scumbag Steve? Garfield, steal your cat? Garfield's alright. I prefer Heathcliff. I prefer Heathcliff, y'all. What y'all know about that? What's up, Dustin? Heathcliff fucks. I don't think Felix the Cat fucks. But but Heathcliff fucks. Maestro says Marmaduke. Yeah, the Heathcliff video game on Wii. Nice. What's up, Denna Tims? Foley used to make scumbag jokes. His old meme called Advice Animals. Is, uh... The scumbag Steve the one that has, like, the fucking hat that's all, like, gangstered out and shit? Calvin and Hobbes is pretty classic. I'll give you that. I used to like, uh, Family Circus also. I thought Family Circus was a classic. Of course, Peanuts. You gotta love Peanuts. Do they even still have comic strips in the paper anymore? I can't even remember the last time I saw a fucking full, a full fucking, uh, I can't believe, I, I, I can't remember the last time I even seen a, uh, an actual, like, newspaper that wasn't like one of the freebies that you get. I have never wrestled Pixel Dan. We've always talked about it, but it's never happened. Also, uh, Mike, uh, Michael B. the Game Genie. What's up, Concert Cruiser? Parbs. I should wrestle you. Are you trained? I know you say your dad trained. What's up, Ryan? What's up, Mike? X-Men 97 is amazing. I've only seen the first episode. No spoilers, please. I haven't gotten to watch any of it.
Well, it's not as easy as setting up a ring. Who's gonna pay for the ring? Who's gonna rent the ring? Who's gonna who's gonna set it up? And then if you rent a ring, they're gonna want a show too, and they're gonna want the wrestlers to get paid as well. So it, co it costs money. That's why Jay hasn't done it. Just an FYI. <laughs> Has there been a man that's more of a man than RTU? Um, Chuck Norris. Mike Wells says birds. What's up, Rando? Thoughts on WrestleMania? I enjoyed it. I thought it was a pretty good, pretty good event. Um, I'm happy with it. I thought it was one of the better WrestleManias in quite some time. Honestly, it was a lot of fun. Hey, nerd strategy. It's been a bit, dude. You discovered who Grizzly Smith is. Jack Mercer was the second Felix. What's up, Malcolm? Real quick, I might show y'all something fun here in a minute. Give me a second. Let me pull it up for you. Pull up! Oh, it was seven years ago. Uh, let me show you guys. Seven years ago, I actually did a review um, for this game. We'll do a quick little watchy real quick. You guys want to do that? Seven years ago. Let me pull out the... Yeah, everything's paused except the mustache. All right, here we go, guys. We're going to watch. I appreciate that, Dustin. It's fun to entertain. I think Boogie would be a pretty good wrestle, wrestler if he was in better health. All right, here we go, guys. So this was seven years ago. So hit the like on the stream, by the way, if you guys haven't. In a library full of classics such as Super Mario Brothers, Mega Man, DuckTales, and countless others, Felix the Cat has been a truly underappreciated gem of an NES platformer for several years. Published and developed in 1992 by Hudson Soft, maker of other heavy hidden franchises such as Bonk and Adventure Island, Felix the Cat is based off the classic cartoon franchise of the same name that gained its prominence in the silent film era, and he has since gone on to become one of the most recognizable cartoon characters of all time. Felix the Cat boomed in theatrical shorts from 1919 to 1936. Too quiet? Yeah. I mean, I have the input pretty high. Not to mention a feature What's up, Portal? In 1988 and a handful of other TV series throughout the... Hang on a second. I have the input pretty high, so you might have to turn it up on your end. Hang on a second. I have the input pretty high. Mid-90s and early 2000s. Anyways, I I'm getting off complete track here, okay? This is not a history lesson. This is a video game review. So let's begin. The player controls Felix the Cat as he embarks on a quest to defeat the evil mad professor who has kidnapped, or catnapped, his beloved girlfriend. Between levels, you get a variety of cutscenes where the professor calls you. Well, yeah, I'm going to be louder than the video because I'm a different... I'm on a different wavelength. Andy this allows it's going to get, but yeah. For Wait a minute. Am I the only one that finds it completely strange that Felix the Cat's arch nemesis, the professor, would even have his phone number? Like, who gives out their phone number to somebody they hate? This is back when I was trying to do like AVGN, irate gamer type of storylines and shit on my videos. Fucking cringe. Who the fuck could be calling me right now? Maybe I should answer it. Hello? Last I have found you. You thought that you could hide your sins from me. 
You know what? I do not have time for this, alright? I am busy. Seriously, do not call again. The first level is a pretty good introduction of the mechanics of the game, which are about as standard as any other platformer on the NES. Yeah, that was Billy, by the way. I don't know if you guys noticed. That was, that was Billy. The A button is used to jump, and the B button is used to attack. Felix Control is pretty solid. Compared to most titles in the NES library, I would rank it a bit above average. All the enemies of this game just look adorable. Why is Felix harming these innocent creatures? You obtain these by finding hearts in each level. We have the standard Felix, who uses a punching glove type of attack, a karaoke Felix that sings out a circle of stars that harm enemies, a Felix who rides a plain car thingamabobber that shoots out a projectile, and we have Tank Felix, who shoots a weapon that comes out in an arc. I swear to God, all of these game developers back in the NES days would do this on purpose. Castlevania suffered from it, Friday the 13th suffered from it, Ghosts and Goblins suffered from it. Each form has a special magic meter that when depleted reverts <laughs> Felix the Cat back to his normal form. So you gotta keep an eye on this and make sure to refill it by using these special pickups that pop out. If Felix takes a hit at any other time, he reverts to the previous form. And if you take a hit while in normal Felix mode, you die. Likely you're able to obtain an abundance of extra lives due to a little trick where one of the clouds in each stage of the professor's head hides a secret one up for you to obtain. Another thing this game features is spring. Oh, I'm not dying inside at all. I'm proud of these videos. Luckily, these aren't as bad, but still as a fucking noise. In each stage, you'll find a magic bag that takes you to a bonus level filled with power-ups to help you out. The so the videos that I had this year, uh, this was seven years ago. The videos that I had, I had like a, a, a story arc going around all of the them. First level, it was so fun. Nerdy looking fuck riding an ostrich. He's pretty simple to defeat. Just dodge his balls and spam away at him with your attack. I totally slow balled that ball joke to you. After you make your way past the first level, you'll find yourself in a flying stage. Here, Felix the Cat has three different forms. The I mean, I do put effort Felix, into all the videos, though, Portal, but okay. Like <laughs> yeah, I did guys, edit this one. And a fighter plane, Felix, which is actually pretty neat. You have to avoid birds and cannons shooting at you. And it's not too bad, but if you don't watch it, you can definitely get caught slipping here. You find your way to a pyramid level that goes back to the platforming type of gameplay and features some weird sombrero wearing enemies. One. I have not played uh, Darkwing Duck on Turbo Graphics. Is that you? Como? Worst Mexican ever. Ugh. This spring part could be a pain in the ass. Only because you go so fast and can't see what enemies are around, it's almost guaranteed you'll get hit. God, that is some scary shit. The boss of this area is a dog with a gun. Again, no biggie. I just stood there and spammed the shit out of my attack and sent him yapping away. I have to say, the bosses in this game were pretty standard. There's no real memorable fights of them, no patterns to learn, no true strategy like a Mega Man boss. It's actually kind of disappointing. This game has a ton of potential, but its boss fights are complete trash. There's a Count Ducula game on, on DOS? Again? Yeah, what's up? You thought that you could hide your sins from me? <laughs> you thought that you could hide your sins from me? What's up, Figvania? How you doing? The next stage is a mountain area. And I don't know what the fuck kind of enemy is this. The music from this level is a short loop and kind of annoying, which is what I was talking about earlier. At this point, I just want to get past this level so I don't have to hear this shit. I swear to God, this is the most busy NES music loop of all time. It's so happy and cheery. In fact, it just irritates me so much it makes me want to stick a screwdriver down my pee hole. After two platforming stages, we're met again with another flying stage. More of the cannons and birds, and we make our way to a boss which looks like a flying trash can character. Again, just find a spot and spam. Now we've come to a beach level. First, we have more standard platforming fare, but this level does introduce something new later on, which is a boating level. Oh, that's good. As you start off that's good, raft, Figvania. It's kind of cute, actually. Adam said Bueller. Adam spelt Bueller right, guys. He uh, he had trouble a couple weeks ago or a few weeks back. He didn't know how to spell Bueller for Ferris Bueller. So congrats on him. 
The second form of boating is Felix riding a fucking dolphin. Whoa, Felix, Felix, Felix. Looks like Felix the cat is missing Kitty so much that he's starting to hump dolphins. I mean, Felix, calm down. You're a children's cartoon, for Christ's sake. The dolphin is awesome, though, because he shoots fucking fireballs out of his mouth. Now that is metal as fuck! To be honest, there's several parts of this level that are annoying as all fuck. Next, we make our way to a full-fledged... What, what, uh, what... What's the Fallout TV show gonna be on? <laughs> what's he doing to the fish? Uh, what's Fallout on? Because if I don't have the streaming service, I'm not gonna watch it. Best snorkel gear. How adorable. I don't have Prime. Felix also has the power to ride a sea turtle. The boss of the stage looks like Plankton from Spongebob. Same old technique. Find a spot, spam. I'll probably find like a, uh, like one of those websites where you could just like watch stuff. Like I, I've seen a couple where I've, like on one of my, uh, on my, my Shield TV, I have like one of those apps that you can watch like TV shows and movies and stuff, kind of like pirated. So I'll probably just do that. Fuck, even Irie Gamer doesn't get interrupted this much. Hello? You thought that you could hide your sins from me? Fuck off! Now we've made it to a pretty cute dinosaur stage. Take a look at this green little fucker here. So adorable, I just want to make him my pet. Not much else to this level, some same standard gameplay, followed by another flying level. In fact, I am just gonna fly over this son of a bitch. Because I am a boss, motherfucker. Cringe. <laughs> that was funny, though. The boss of this level is an evil Felix? I don't know shit about the cartoon, but I'm pretty sure this is an evil Felix. I don't know. Don't hate me in the comments. Well, actually... Next up, we have an ice level, and usually ice levels are my most dreaded levels in any game. Luckily, this is a boat and stage, but it's definitely hard as balls. Hashtag dab. The enemies are some fucks this time around. After another swimming level and another trash can enemy, we make our way to an Antarctic level that has these weird frozen fish scattered throughout the stage. Don't look like no long johns to me, bub. I'm not even going to answer this shit. Near the end of the game, we arrive to a pretty cool space level where Felix flies a freaking UFO. Aliens. As cool as this level is, it's hard as balls because Felix dies on one hit no matter what. There's absolutely no weapon power up or different Felix the Cat forms. So do your best and avoid cute gray aliens and green asteroid assholes. We make our way to the final area, a planet that has these bullshit orange rocks that come out of nowhere, but other than that, it's pretty basic. The final boss of the game, of course, is the professor, who's flying in a ship. Luckily, the game gives you three magic bags to use to power yourself up. Classic X-Files, yes. To win. With that said, now it's time to rescue Kitty and go have some wild hot cat sex back at home. Overall, Felix the Kid... Felix the Kid... Overall, Felix the Cat is a very solid and underrated NES platformer. It's one of the best. Unfortunately, it has gone up in value, and it's kind of in demand, so you're probably not going to find it for cheap. All right, this is the last goddamn time. I have to end this fucking video already. What in the fucking fuck could you possibly want in the middle of my fucking day? I'm recording a Felix the Cat review. You know what? Just go ahead and fucking say it, all right? I shall have my revenge. I shall expose you. You're going to expose me. Fuck. Son of a bitch. Dead. Uh, there's a reason why I didn't do them anymore, though, nerds. People stopped watching, so you gotta lean into what people are watching, unfortunately. Retro stopped doing good on my retro videos content stopped doing good on the channel so 
Is that how is that how is that how Rich stalks me? Yes. Except he goes exposed, exposed, exposed. So yeah, that was a video I did seven years ago. The reason why I showed it is because I'm playing the game now. Turn the volume down just a little bit on the Elgato. Billy's such a stupid head. Yeah, that was a that was a while ago. I had a series of videos. Uh, I think one of the I reviewed Monster Party. I reviewed Hellfighter. Um, Yo Noid. Um, there was a few of them. There's a whole playlist of those videos for that story arc. How many of y'all have played this Felix the Cat game before? What's up, Derek? You read through the Chicago Manual of Style. What's the Chicago Manual of Style? I have not played the Chester Cheetos. I could use some fucking Cheetos right now, though. If I'm being honest, Cheetos sound good as fuck. Do you guys prefer puffs or crunchy? Quackshot's a fucking good game. Bun Bun says... Oh, God. Oh, wait. I remember I have the fucking rewind. I just rewind to where I died. Crunchy all day? I like Puffy, y'all. And I'm not talking about P. Diddy Puffy. Just fucking just clarifying that. Do I remember the balls? They used to have, like, the little, like, balls. And then they had, like, the claws, too. You've never played this? Yeah, this game's kind of uh, expensive now, but Limited Run... Um, Limited Run Games did a physical of it. I didn't order it, though, because uh, I'm still kind of boycotting Limited Run. <laughs> but I got this as a, as a review code. Came out a while ago. Just now getting to it. You never get a notification for my streams? That sucks. I hope, uh, click the bell right now and click, um, all notifications. See if maybe click it and choose notifications. Maybe you can get it. Oh, yeah, I saw there's a, ret uh, a retro style fucking, a new platform in, uh, Rugrat game. There's an 8 bit version and a modern looking version. I think they're even making an NES cart. I saw John Riggs was streaming it earlier. That's actually really cool. I liked Rugrats Rats back in the day. Does it encourage a cowardly dog? Yeah, I don't like the new Rugrat shit. Like, all the fucking all grown up and, um, what's the other, the, like, the newest ones? Oh, thank you, Mike. I appreciate that. What's up, Paganichi? Thank you so much, man. Thank you for being able to count. I appreciate that. I needed the, uh, I needed somebody to tell me the stats. 
They removed Rugrats 2021. Why'd they do that? The new Don't Tell the Mom Baby. They're making a new Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead. Why the fuck are they doing that? Tom Ace. Tom Ace. That's a Ace Ventura reference. License and issue. All right. I mean, that makes sense. But doesn't Paramount own, like, all the fucking Nickelodeon shit? What's up, She Loves? Welcome back. What's up, Gizmo? I didn't know they were making a new Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead. Hmm. Rich exposed himself to you? Interesting. Billy and Jay never catch the... Yeah, I mean, I know I've caught it before. I know when you've come in before, I've, I've been like, Tom Ace. Yeah, Christina Applegate was in it. I think, uh, what's his name was in Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead. That, um, Keith Coogan. Shit. Yeah, I saw the Crow stuff is coming with a new film, but I'm, I'm not going to watch it. The sound effects are pretty fucking good. I like the sound effects. I'm rewinding. I like the first Joker movie, but if this one's a musical, I know I'm going to fucking be annoyed with that. I, I'm not really into uh, musicals. The new Bad Boys looks pretty good. Yeah, I was too young to fucking watch the original. When the first Crow came out, I was much too young, so I, I really didn't get into it. Jay exposed your butt. Which Jay? Shady Jay or JKBJ? I have no clue, Gizmo. <laughs> Thank you, Water Brusher. Yeah, guys, if y'all haven't hit like on the stream, please do so. Hit that like button. Yeah, it's going to be a musical. Like, major majority musical. So this has the Game Boy version, and then it has the Japan version. I wonder what the main differences are with the uh, Japan version. Hey, the music's cool. It's basically Ha Land, not La La Land. So basically, it's the same game. You know how, like, for a while, the Game Boy version of games was just basically the NES version, just Game Boyed? Basically, what it is. You literally eat a whole pizza? I mean, I can eat a whole pizza easily. Do I stay on my Discord from time to time? Yeah, we've been in there. Um, Tim, uh, Den of Tim's is in there a lot. Um, there's been a couple of people in there. We've been in there chilling, talking, shooting the breeze, talking about games. Yeah, if you guys want to join my Discord, pop in there. We hang out in there now a little bit more often. Yeah, I saw some crap about... Um, what's up, Verducci? Grandia was cool, but I need to, like, sit down and actually, like, take time to figure the game out and pay attention to it. 
My god, look how slow-mo this is. Oh, the trailer, the trailer, they definitely... With the uh, Joker 2 trailer, they definitely made it not obvious that it's a musical. <laughs> they definitely... I think they purposely did that. You kidnapped ABE and made me join your server. Let's see if I can pull up my Discord. I know, uh, I know Botrix has posted the Discord a, a few times, but let me post it just in case you guys want to come and join. Uh, we've been trying to have a little bit of a chill and a little bit of a hangout and talking. At least uh, I'm popping in on a little bit of a daily basis and, and talking. I mean, there was people in there just a couple hours ago. Um, where the fuck do I do an invite? How do I invite? Hang on, I had my Discord invite set up already. Give me a second. I have, actually, I have it in my uh, description of every video. Give me un momento. All right, here we go. If you guys want to go, I'm spamming the Discord link. We'd love to have you guys come in and talk video games, music, movies, TV. How much is the movie going to be a musical? Nineteen hours ago, director assured fans it'll make sense when you see it. The director says we never really talked about it like that, but I like to say it's a film where music is an essential element. He assured fans it'll make sense when they watch it. So I don't know. We'll see what they do. I'm going in with my expectations low. Because I really enjoyed the first one. You wonder if Sharon Tate's baby will show up tonight. Probably. Sharon Tate's, Sharon Tate's baby always comes through, right? God, the Game Boy version is so fucking bad, y'all. Dear God. Look at the slowdown and the flickering. Who don't like Frank Sinatra? Frank's awesome. No Genesis version. I don't think this game had a Genesis version. I don't think. Did it? This game, uh, what year was it? We could find that out right away. So as the NES, Game Boy, and Japanese. Um, doesn't have the year right there. I thought it would have the year. I'm sure it came out like in the 90s. Let's see what the Japan version is different with. Well, obviously the language. Fuck, it feels like it controls faster. Well, 
Well, yeah, it was definitely before the Game Boy Color came out because Feels a Cat was on the NES. Game Boy Color came out. It was, what, N64 era? What's up, Genghis? You're calling me DSP? Why am I toxic? Banned, banned, banned. Gone. Forever. It's WWE Champions time. Oh, the camera was on the whole time, huh? Hello. What's up, Wesley's? Wesley Peoples. Oh, the camera's on. I need that money. I really, really do. I need that money. I like a penne. Easy to eat. <laughs> I have a guilty pleasure for watching DSP content, but I'm not going to I'm not going to sit on stream and react to DSP content like some people do. So there's one of these in every stage, a little face that gives you a uh, a one up each time. Yep, there it goes. Boom. See? Shit. By the way, if you guys hadn't seen, um... My video from today, I appreciate it if you guys go and gas it up. There it is right there. Like, comment, check it out. Gas it up for me, por favor. I'd appreciate that. Rewind is fucking awesome. It's so convenient. <laughs> Your night too? Nice. So you had a good memorable night, man. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen today's video, there it is right there linked. I definitely would appreciate it. Hopefully you have a goat like Duty so you don't have to... Yeah, I watch uh, Duty, Snort, Bornell, and Snort Hogan. For my DSP content. And my occasional review tech. I've also been watching uh, Kino, Kino Casino. Which been fucking crushing it. Video game movies. Nice. Classics like Mortal Kombat. Double Dragon. Fucking Mario Brothers. I think the worst movie I ever saw that was like a video game movie was fucking Castlevania Spirits Within. I remember I uh I was working at a movie theater when that game came out. I mean that movie came out Spirits Within and I had to like sit and watch it cuz I was a projectionist. So I was like I built it up. I had to watch it cuz I was a projectionist and I was just fucking so fucking Bored off my ass watching it. It was like the worst, dude. MK Annihilation. I actually like the second Mortal Kombat movie. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of do. Was it the best? No, but... This is how you found me? 
You watched a lot of these? Figvania, I think you might be... Uh... Not live. I think you might be behind a little bit. So when you see this... When you see this right now... On the bottom left, click where it says live. And you'll catch up. I think you might be a little behind. I don't think you're actually live right now. Max Payne had a movie. Your friend was Mataro in the movie. That's cool concert. Yeah, I thought it was cool that they try to do some of the moves and callbacks and stuff on camera. Um, the newest Mortal Kombat movie that came out a couple years ago, it had its moments for sure, uh, but you could definitely tell, uh, like that whole era of movies, because it was fresh off, like off of COVID, like during COVID and stuff, and stuff was getting delayed and crap like that. Um, you definitely tell the pandemic had affected production of it a little bit, because a lot of stuff just feels like it was pieced together. I actually have Manhunt. I just haven't, uh, haven't tried it out. American Gladiators? Nice. Is the Rock's Rampage movie considered a gaming film? I mean, it's based off of a video game franchise, so I would say yeah. Oh, Kano is great in the OG Mortal Kombat movie. I, I didn't like the Rampage movie that great, though. If I'm gonna be completely honest, I went I went as with a group. I went with a group to go watch it, and they were so distracting. They were so fucking distraction, distracting, and, um, like, they just were talking the whole fucking time, and I just couldn't focus on the movie, and I was, like, so annoyed, and it was, like, a double date, and I didn't want to be mean to my date's friends that were, like, there. I didn't see the Max Payne movie. I gotta check that out. The Umbrella's OP. I like the, uh... What's up, Hugh, <laughs> Hugh Janus? How's it going? This game looks so much like Super Mario Bros. 2. It has its things. It has its moments. Oh, my, dis my controller just disconnected. That's horse shit. Did y'all just see that? Wow. Give me a second. No, no, the game's gonna kill me because my controller is disconnected. Pause. Shit. Dude, it didn't even tell me the battery was fucking low. What the hell's up with that?
right when you said hope all is well. You don't have to all caps, Hugh Janus. I, I see your comment. Thank you, though. Yeah, it didn't even warn me. Why am I toxic? I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay. Totally gay. That was you too on Xbox? See, I don't think my controller dies that often on Xbox. It definitely dies. It definitely dies a lot at, uh, on, um, fucking PlayStation, though. I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay, totally gay. Shit. I don't want to fucking do that. I was just trying not to fucking die, but I guess I did. Yeah, the dual sense fucking battery sucks. Sucks pretty fucking hardcore. What's up, Nobert? DSP's fucking goat. Did the Jetsons have a game? Yeah, they had an NES game. Um, Cog's Caper, or, or what the hell is it called? Something like that. It's actually kind of uncommon to find. Almost every single cartoon that was like major had a NES game at one point. Or Super Nintendo. Every time you do your in your dual senses on the PC, nice. So when's Dual Sense V2 coming out? Very soon. To quote, uh, was it Caddyshack? Well, we're waiting. I said on the NES and Super Nintendo, most of them had one. I don't think Richie Rich had one. On Did they have a Super Nintendo one? I don't think so, but I said almost everyone. I didn't say everyone. I said... Almost everyone. I like Flintstones way more than Jetsons also. Although the Jetsons movie that came out like in 91 was fucking legit. What's up, Top Shelf Gaming? How are you doing? That was a weird sounding vehicle that just passed the house. Oh yeah, I definitely revitalized the Jetsons. The movie. Cashack was awesome. Cashack was great. Oh, the Flintstones movie, uh, like '94, it had uh, Rick Moranis and fucking John Goodman, and yeah, that one was all right.
I remember McDonald's had the toys, the Happy Meal toys. It was like the little Flintstones buildings and shit. Good man like you. Watching Rich explode. Guy's nuts. Sub to him. Oh, I uh, appreciate you being sub, Top Shelf. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. Holly Perry was in fucking Flintstones. I wouldn't say her peak. She had some good moments, uh, good moments after that as well. But she was definitely fucking hottie in that one. I'll say that much. And that was such a good fucking year, man. 94. Uh, yeah, nerd, just, just check my videos out on it. <laughs> You'll see. It'll catch you up. Flintstones? That's pretty funny, Nick. That was Rosie's Peak? <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny, Adam. Also, shout out to all the channel members in the chat tonight, guys. I see y'all. Appreciate y'all being here. Shout out to everybody being here. We're at 48 fucking likes. Can we get, can we get, uh, can we get 100 tonight? If you guys haven't hit that like button, smash it. I don't know. I thought, uh, Rosie O'Donnell was pretty fucking hot in that one movie where she was like in, uh, didn't she do like a movie where she was like in lingerie or some shit? Like in a scene. <laughs> I know Jamie Lee Curtis was a fucking baddie in that fucking one movie, uh, True Lies, when she did that strip tea scene. Jamie Lee Curtis was a little baddie in that scene. No, I didn't whack it to Rosie. Jamie killed it. Nerve strategy, top, top shelf summarized, summarized it pretty good if you want to read what he just put. What's up, Henlo? Henlo? You did to Jamie. I mean, that's fair. Not judging you on that. You misspell stuff for creative purposes. I mean, that's fine. No judgment. You thought it was underwater? No, this is the sky. <laughs> I can see where you think it's underwater, though.
Oh, shit. Was it Total Recall, Jamie Lee Curtis as a babe? No, it was True Lies. True Lies. Total Recall didn't have Jamie Lee Curtis in it. Would I rock a pair of LA Light? Yeah, yeah, I would wear, I would, I would rock a pair of Light Up LA Light. Or LA Gears. Yeah, it was True Lies that Jamie Lee Curtis was in it. She's a great, she'd be considered a great gilf. I mean, when she was younger, she was pretty cute. Boo boo ba doo. Oh. Exit to okay. It was exit to Eden with Rosie O'Donnell. Okay. Being a kid and feeling feelings you never felt before. Her try to kill Arnie. <laughs> What's up, Robert Rivera? Let me grab some water. I think I have a thing of water right here. Give me a second, guys. I did not jerk off to her on Harriet the Spy. She did not look hot in Harriet the Spy. At all. Celeb crush when I was a when I was a kid, um, I guess the usual suspects like the Pink Ranger and stuff like that. Hmm. Give me one second. I was just reading something. All right. Topanga was a baddie. Uh, Dina from Silly Your Shorts is a baddie. Clisha Explains It All was a baddie. Pink Ranger was a baddie. Um, oh, yeah, Lindsay Lohan. Oh yeah, you're fired. I like I like all his Mr. Freeze one liners. But I also like put that cookie down. Cammy from Street Fighter was a baddie. Yeah, even in the movie, Kylie Kylie Mignon. YouTube needs to fix their ad crap. What do you mean? Tom Ace. Oh, Jennifer Love Hewitt was a good one. And Jawbreak, was it Heartbreakers or what was it? Who's your daddy and what does he do? Jennifer loves huge tits. Oh, we're on the dolphin.
Yeah, no watching 90 movie. Maybe in the Discord we could do like movie nights. I know like JKB does movie nights. Uh, Denna Tims does movie nights. Maybe we could start doing a movie night like in the in my Discord. The mom from Home Alone, she's all right. Yeah, I just said you do uh, movie nights. No, I'll figure out how to get it set up and stuff. I, I kind of want to host it so I can have a little bit more control over it. You know what I mean? No offense to you or anybody. Saved by the Bell, all three girls. Oh, all three girls in Saved by the Bell were baddies. Wendy Peppercorn? Oh, yeah. From the Sandlot. <laughs> what about Vicky Valencourt? What's up, Synth Mage? Neil Blitz, how you doing? You're drunk? Nice. Rich is a diehard man fan. She showed me her boobies, and I like them too. Yeah, guys, make sure y'all smash that like if you're just popping in. And usually I stream a lot earlier. Today I started later. I usually stream 9 p.m., 10 p.m. Central Time. Today I started at 12. Whoops. I was a little fucking late today. Uh, I was a little late today, uh, but uh, if you guys want to uh, make sure you don't miss a stream. If I know a lot of you guys here are regulars, but if you guys haven't uh, haven't missed or uh, you don't want to miss, uh, subscribe with notifications. But also, if you want to go into like my Discord or anything like that, I put alerts in there. Uh, what's up, Derek? I'm not twerking for being late. <laughs> Uh, but if you guys if you guys sign up in the Discord, it alerts whenever I have a stream, whenever I post a video. Uh, also, there's a lot of people. We're starting to get in there and get a little get a little group going on again too. Going on in there, so good little environment to talk, hang out. Thank you, Maxim. Hey guys, let's like that stream up. If we get to. Uh, we get to what are we at? We're about sixty. We're almost at sixty likes. I'll take a swig at eighty. Winnie Cooper was great. I like her. Uh, the actual actress. Um, fuck is her name? Off the top of my head, I can't remember her name. Starts with a D, right? Dionica something. What's up, Cole Silla? I don't I'm not gonna chug a whole bottle. <laughs> oh yeah, the original G four had a lot of fucking baddies on it. I have not seen a clogged empty jewel cases 
toilet at Best Buy. Man, to be honest, I can't tell you the last time I went inside of a Best Buy. Danica, yeah, yeah, I knew it was Danica or something like that. She's fucking hot. There was a girl, what's up, Kurt? There was a girl that I used to go to middle school with in high school that she reminded me of Weenie. She kind of looked like uh, Weenie Cooper a little bit. Is this a new Felix collection? Yeah, it's uh, the one that they put on PS5 and uh, Xbox and stuff. What about Veronica? Veronica Vaughn? Who's who's that? I should have Rich host movie night? Nah, no thanks. Maybe if I need somebody to host like DSP watch alongs. <laughs> What's up, Carbonite? How you doing, dude? Good to see you here. Oh, Billy Madison. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You'd be down for DSP watches? Jeez. I have to watch like the segmenting clips that Snort Burnell and Snort Hogan do. I can't do a watch along. <laughs> exactly, Nick. Hey, sometimes I moan when I take dumps. I'm not going to lie. You guys ever have like a piss or a dump where it just feels so good that you're like, oh... Icebox. Icebox from Little Giants. I haven't seen what she looks like. Yeah, I mean, she's all right. It's Nudie Magazine Day. Yeah, Game Chasers hasn't popped in tonight to ask uh, any a ass eating. It's kind of concerning. I hope he's okay. I I hope he's hope he's not in trouble. <laughs> yeah, I saw he was doing a collection stream. Uh JKB This is $25 on PSN. Well, it includes the uh, Game Boy version and the Japanese version, but that is a little high. What's up, Black Metal, Black Metal Gamer? The 
Do I still have the laugh track? It's on my, uh, like if I pulled up on YouTube. It must mean he's, it must mean Billy's away from my, uh, uh, it must mean, uh, Billy is away from the computer. He's probably not editing tonight. You did away with Billy earlier in JK, what, Billy went to JKB stream? Is Rich in the chat as another account? I don't think so. Don't really care if he is or not. <laughs> she only got 10? I thought she was going to go for the rest of her fucking life. Oh, Billy. What's up, regular Nintendo? You want to see Rich swim in a septic tank? That's that's gross. Cable Guy is a great fucking movie. When I was younger, I didn't fucking like it, but now that I'm older, I I I fucking appreciate it. Black Metal Gamer, thank you so much, dude. Can I get a hashtag Black Metal Gamer for the $1 super chat? Appreciate that, dude. Thank you so much. Don't you want somebody to love? Ooh, I need somebody to love. I like Truman Show also. <laughs> Orange Turban Kid. Oh no, dude! Anything is anything is good. I I appreciate that. Nothing is expected Black or Black Metal Gamer donated mandatory. one dollar through Super Chat. Appreciate that. Thank you so much, man. Don't ever say sorry for being cheap. I appreciate that. I like to think Felix is throwing pancakes outside of this. Yeah, I've met Million Dollar Man before, too. I've done a couple of uh, wrestling clinics that he's run. I won't expect it like low-tier God. I haven't heard of that dude in forever. Shit. Smash that like, guys, if y'all haven't smashed it yet. I want to at least get to 100 likes. That's all I ask every stream. If you guys haven't hit like. Oh, shit. Makes me happy. Yeah, I've met a lot of wrestlers since I wrestle. I've met a lot. I oh, know where he's done it, Tim's. Appreciate the thought in advance. You want to play to OVW? Nice. Want to suplex you? I try not to do anything physical with anybody that's not trained to wrestle, but it depends. We'll see. I can do a snap. Snap suplex. Yeah, 
Yeah, his son's going through some legalities. You know, I'd never played the backyard wrestling games, <laughs> but I remember. You cover pro wrestling? Nice. Well, I was responding to Kozilla saying for me to suplex him. You really hope WrestleMania is in Minneapolis? Usually, back in the day, they used to announce the next town, like, instantly. Like, the night of, like, while WrestleMania is happening, they would announce the town for the next year. They'd be like, next year, WrestleMania, this date, this day, or this location. They used to do that ahead of time. Like, a year in advance. Tom Ace. I want to see Ace Ventura again. Haven't seen it in a while. What's up, Khalil? No, I, I think this is one of the best WrestleManias ever. Like, yeah, the late 90s was great and everything, but... Tendence is up, big time. Oh, that was a pretty good show. Had fun with it. What I think about Mike Tyson fighting Jake Paul? I don't care because it's an exhibition. You know, it doesn't really matter who wins or loses it probably gonna suck like the last exhibition that he uh Mike Tyson did where he just drew tied with the guy he boxed it's not really gonna matter who wins or loses it it'll probably just be like just gonna be a a, a glorified uh damn bun bun I did Bun Bun, I did not need to think about that. Oh. <sighs> Bun Bun said, imagine a YouTube video where it's a black screen and it's just Rich moaning for 20 minutes. I did not have to think about that. <laughs> oh, by the way, channel members, if you weren't here last night, I have three new emojis. I have three new emojis for channel members. We have Michelle Soguchi. We have Touch Tips. And we have the Sonichu Chris Chan Medallion. Those are the three new ones. <laughs> I think I'm going to try to get another one soon. I'm, I, anybody have any idea? Oh, anybody have any ideas? Let me know. If anybody has any ideas on uh on some emotes emojis. What's up, Johan? How you doing, dude? Good to see you here as always. But yeah, if you guys have any ideas for emojis, let me know. I wanna get a good one of Chris Chan. Eric Jeremy emoji. Um, I need to come up with that one. Oh, hold on a second. My dog's at the door.
Did you see what you just did, Daisy? You ran into my fucking electric cord and you unplugged all my lights and shit. Hang on, guys. My dog just... Me doing the heart with my hand would be a cool and funny emoji. Okay, that's one. Kang Eric always wins. Do I have the one where I was in the devil? Okay, the devil one would be a good idea. You sent me a pic of Chris. Yeah, but it wasn't a good one to put make into an emoji. I don't think. Like, I want a real good one to make into an emoji. Rich with a cross out circle. Rich sucking a cucumber. That that could be a good one. Maybe a DSP one. Some Joey Specter ones. Rich Ghostbusters cross symbol. What about J? Yeah, if I do a rich one, he'll never fucking shut the fuck up. Then again, I am milking him. <laughs> Every time he does something stupid. Um, I might do like a milk. Like a milk carton. Or one of me holding... What about Dre? I might do one of me holding like a milk. Reiner, Velociraptor shooting Uzis. <laughs> yeah, Tom, it was pretty long. YouTube video Rich moaning but it's a photo of him shirtless holding a cucumber. Ugh. That's disgusting, mate. That's a good one, Tim. I'm gonna rewind. That's a good one, Den of Tims. Maybe that. Something a little less subtle. Flying from the top rope. I don't go off the top rope, though. A photo of Quantum TV with the words piss on you? What? Wait, why is it Japanese? Nah, nerd strategy, I, I disagree. It, it falls in fair use and parody and stuff, transformative. The only reason why I wouldn't do it is because I, I wouldn't want him to uh, try to use that as something else. I'm not worried about likeness and stuff. I have other people as emojis on mine. I mean, I have fucking 
I already have Review Tech as one already. Michelle Soguchi is one. This is literally him as Michelle Soguchi. Favorite night skit comedy show? Fucking in living color, man. You've been missing in action, uh, nerd strategy. You don't know what's going on. <laughs> Watch all the videos and catch up. Living Color was great. I used to watch Mad TV also, but and Living Color was my fucking jam. You got a CRV? Nice. I'm a professional milker, yes. Matter of fact, as soon as I beat the stage, I'll just make the milk carton right now. Favorite Sega Genesis game cover art? Shit. There's a few good ones that come off to mind. Forgotten Worlds has a cool one. Um, Phileos has a cool one. Moonwalkers is pretty badass. Musha's is pretty cool. Sonic 3 is pretty cool. Oh yeah, dude. The Living Color is great. I used to watch it all the fucking time with my... Like, my family, we would all get together and watch all of them. We would even watch Snick together. Like, Are You Afraid of the Dark and Clarissa Explains It All. And we would watch all those shows together. I remember we used to watch Are You Afraid of the Dark together as a family. If you could have the real world locale edition, who would you have? DSP... Boogie. Wings. Keem. Low tier god. Cyrax. I haven't seen any King Cobra, but since everybody talks about him, King Cobra, um, Chris Chan. You know, I never watched any Saturday Night Live, like, all the way growing up. And then I've tried to watch it recently. I just don't find it funny. Thunder Force. I have Thunder Force 2. It wouldn't last a weekend. <laughs> That'd be a good cast, though. Definitely has to have Chris Chan. Yeah, there's some pretty scary Are You Afraid of the Dark episodes for sure. We're almost at 70 likes, guys. Good job. I appreciate it. If you haven't smashed that like yet, consider doing it. I'd, I'd uh, appreciate it. Oh, so much. Let me see something. Oh shit, oh shit. Oops, sorry.
I... Give me a second. I'm going to make the new thumbnail. Not new thumbnail, the new uh the new emoji for you guys. Or I'm gonna try to. Hang on. I'll have to do that later. Yeah, we watched all of the Chris Chan, uh, all the Chris Chan documentary. Have I caught up on DSP? I I have not. <laughs> I like to like every once in a while like not pay attention to DSP and then eventually um, I go and check out Snort and uh, catch up on what's going on. And funny enough, it's usually never any different. Bullshit. Which ninety sitcom family would I stay for a week? Uh, fucking. Fresh Prince. I don't know. Fucking Roseanne. I don't know, dude. Are you afraid of the dick? That's interesting. <laughs> I mean, Full House family seems like they'd be pretty cool to stay at. I think this is the last stage. Thank you, Dustin. I appreciate that, dude. Other than me using the uh, rewind a few times. It's not too hard of a stage. You asked too many questions about the weird uncle in the in the basement. I mean, that's fair.
These are the boss right here. Or maybe there's a couple more levels. I don't fucking know. Couple more. So every stage has one of these that you can hit and get a... I like the music. The rear entrance of the anal kingdom. What the fuck? <laughs> Good night, Knucklehead. Appreciate you being here, man. Appreciate all you guys being here. If y'all haven't smashed that like yet, we're at 70. Holy shit. You guys think we can hit 100 today? Maybe. Oh, NES games are pretty old school and fun, for sure. Oh, shit. Oh. Ah, oh, motherfucker. It's 2 a.m. Yeah, I know. Well, at least we could get to 80, right? <laughs> I think this is the boss right here. Yeah, it's the boss. I mean, technically, is it cheating to use rewind? I don't think so. It's part of the game. Fuck you. Bullshit. I'm using fucking rewind all fucking day. I don't give a fuck. There we go. I have beaten this game before though on the NES. Just to let you know, you guys saw the you guys saw the video. Boom, there we go.
I love you, Felix. Got a trophy, baby. That's all I'm talking about. Can you watch the Felix movie tomorrow? Yeah, I haven't seen it. A game. He's definitely getting the cat tonight. Seems like it. There's no way I could beat the fucking Game Boy version. It's so fucking bad. Look at this shit. It's slow. It's zoomed in. It's ass. Both beat Leisure Suit Larry games, PSN, four bucks. Nice. I never played Leisure Suit Larry. I've heard things about it. Hey, I think they shortened it. I think there's only one stage. There was only one stage for that whole thing. Looks like Mario Land. Yeah, I switched to the Game Boy version of the game. Yeah, they did the Bill and Ted games for Xbox and PlayStation 5 and Switch. Oh yeah, the first Super Mario Land on Game Boy was, uh, as a kid it tripped me out. <laughs> I mean, I think it's a pretty good little title, though, for being a handheld Mario. Which one game? I wish they made a uh, movie made game off of. Um... Good question, man. I don't know. Child's Play? I don't fucking know. Trevor's would be cool. Ghoulies would have been cool. Ferris Bueller would be cool. <laughs> Labyrinth? No, they did make a Labyrinth game. I forgot. I reviewed it. Oh yeah, they had the nice little pyramid theme with Mario Land. I thought it was cool. It had its moments for sure. Mario Land did have banger music. Especially when you got like the star power up. I like Super Mario Land. Uh, Super Mario Brothers 2 as well. There's a Halloween uh, video game on Atari. It's really fucking rare and expensive, though. Do I have Gimmick Special Edition? I do. I have it on PlayStation, actually. And Xbox, digitally. I didn't get everything in that room. Damn it. I think I might have bought it physically. I'm not sure.
You want a real Halloween game? Boom, baby. Save it. If you guys haven't seen my video from today, well, I mean yesterday now, I'm spamming it right there. If you guys can go gas it, hit the like button, comment, share it, engage with it, definitely would appreciate that. Oh, yeah, Killer Cons from Outer Space is having a game come out. That's right. Forgot about that. But yeah, that was today's video. If you guys haven't seen it yet, it would mean a lot to me if you guys gassed it up. Either like, comment, share. Watch. Texas Chainsaw does have a game. That one was okay. I liked it for what it was, but I didn't play it much for very long. Yeah, I was thinking about trying to get the Platinum, but I don't know how much I could tolerate this this fucking Game Boy game. <laughs> the Evil Dead game, yeah, I had that too. I played it. It was all right. Drink some vodka to tolerate the Game Boy. <laughs> the music is so fucking like repetitive little jingle. Feel like the water stages will be rough. Oh man, yeah, you're right, Tom. The worst thing you do is masturbate in front of a PS5 at a grocery store. What are you even talking about, Bun Bun? What are you even going on about, Bun Bun? Bun Bun needs his own channel. You imagine Thank you. 
Underwater. Oh, it's not too bad so far. I think they're still going to do eight, eight or nine levels in this game. But it seems like they cut them down to two. Two in a boss fight. Boss fight. The bosses only take three hits in this game. Actually, no, you know what? I think the game's almost done. Because this is the last stage on the fucking... On the NES version. So it skipped, it skipped a few. Yeah, we might play it. We might beat the portable version. And then I don't know if the Japanese version has its own trophies or not, but I ain't, I ain't fucking doing that. That's a fucking hard jump. There we go. Walmart's the place that you see a fat lady in a Jack Skeleton tank top and Daisy Dukes. Hey, I like Walmart. I go to Walmart when I'm bored. I go to Walmart to get snacks and movies and games. I love my Walmart. I love my neighborhood Walmart.
You worked for Walmart at one point? See, I never worked at a Walmart. I almost worked at a Target once, but I went to orientation, and then they were like, oh, we'll call you when we want you to start on the schedule. So a week goes by, two weeks go by, three weeks go by. Finally, they fucking call me. No, finally, I call. I decide to call them. And I'm like, hey, I'm just trying to figure out what the fuck's going on? How come you guys haven't scheduled me? And they were like, um, we have been. You haven't come in at all. And I'm like, uh, no, I was told you guys would call me when you started scheduling me. And they were like, well, you should have been proactive and you should have followed up immediately. And I'm all like, uh, I was told that you guys would, would fucking call me. And then they were like, um, they were like, well, you could come in tomorrow, but we're going to have to give you a, um, like a demerit or like a strike already. And I was like, fuck that. And they're like, what? And I was like, that ain't my fucking fault. I'm not starting with a fucking black fucking, uh, mark on my fucking record. So then they were like, okay, well, what do you want to do? And I was like, ah, you know what? I don't want the job anymore. I was like, see ya. I've never heard of a Wegmans grocery store. But yeah, they were all like, you can come in, just you're in trouble. We're almost at 80 likes, y'all. Appreciate it. Oh, I did get the platinum. Nice. So the Japanese version doesn't make you get trophies. Platinum the game. Easy little platinum. Good stuff, y'all. Can we get a couple more likes? If we get to 80 likes, I'll take a swig and I'll chat with you guys for a few minutes. I'm done with the game for tonight, but we'll... P -p 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 Platinum Trophy. What's up, Spurg? Or should I say Vic? Is that you, Vic? What's up, dude? Wow, I did not think I would platinum that. That was actually fairly easy. Well, you chat on your regular account. What? The hell? That's weird. Did you ever troll me before? Because <laughs> I wouldn't... I never banned you. Gaming in let me look. There's no reason why it wouldn't let you. No, you're not blocked or anything. That's fucking weird. No, I'm looking right now. You're not blocked. Cheers, guys. If you have a drink, even if it's non-alcoholic, take a cheers. I'm all right. Just played some retro goddamn fucking vodka that's hot. Vodka, room temperature vodka sucks. Mm. 
I did not 316. I try not to watch AEW, <laughs> if I'm going to be honest. How many guys have bought my book, by the way? I don't want to, like, I want to show my book. Oh, Bot Ricks just read my mind. If you guys click what Bot Ricks just posted, that's a link to my book. I have it on Amazon. It's my uh, my wrestling autobiography. Do you guys want to check it out? I haven't really promoted the book in a while, but it's a fun read. It's been a minute since I've actually looked up. <laughs> Rich is fucking with a wrestler. No, I saw the shit on Twitter about it. I'm going to go and check my um, info about my book. I haven't checked. It. I haven't checked the Amazon page in a while. Give me a second. Fourteen fucking likes. Fourteen reviews. Damn. Not bad. Rich vs. Eric wrestling match. 12.30 a.m. Yeah, I'm about to call it a night here too, guys. I'm just kind of like decompressing now after vibing out and chilling with you guys. It's tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thursday. Oh, dude, I could use some blue Powerade with vodka. That that sounds fucking great, actually. That sounds fucking good. It's going to be Thursday. Fucking great. Week's been going, going by pretty fast, man. I got a wrestling show on Saturday. So, depending on what time that ends... If I get home early enough, guys, I'll do a Saturday stream uh, with you guys, 110%. I usually don't stream Saturdays, or not often, but if I get home early enough on Saturday, um, I just might do one. There's no guarantees, no guarantees, but Saturday, Saturday is a possibility. Vodka and prune juice? Yuck. That doesn't even sound appealing. I'm just checking the Fortnite shop real quick. Busiest day of the week is usually, um, if I'm be completely honest, the weekends. Jaeger and Green Monster tastes like a Jolly Rancher. I've not tried that. Tito's Vodka Shot Chase with a... <laughs> yeah, I don't drink too often. I'm more of a beer guy, but I, I, I mix vodka with like Coke. So I could do that. So yeah, depending on uh, Saturday, because I usually don't stream Saturdays, but if I get home early enough on Saturdays, 
uh, I'll stream. If it's too late, I won't. I won't stream. So we'll figure it out. But if you guys haven't seen today's video, please go gas it up. I know I promoted it just a few minutes ago. Gas this video. Like and comment. Like and comment. Share if you can. Gas it up. That'd mean a lot. Por favor. Screwdrivers are pretty good. Screwdrivers are really good, actually. This The place that we were at this past weekend, it was a bar. They actually had bottled screwdrivers that were like this fucking big for like eight bucks. Monster Energy and Jack Daniels. Ugh. I, I can't do energy drinks anymore, guys. Energy drinks fuck me up. Like, if I drink energy drinks, I feel like I'm going to fucking die. <laughs> Do any of you guys get like that, too? I feel like I I, I, I have, like, a heart attack. Discord's talking about my new video. Tell your Discord to uh, go and comment on the actual video. Put the comment section. I'd appreciate that. Yeah, energy drinks I can't do as good. If I do, it has to be like a zero, a zero sugar, like a monster zero or something like that. Gatorade and Powerade are fucking great. I could do I could do those. We gotta marry all these discords. What do you mean by that? I'm pretty happy with my Discord lately. We've been uh been having good combos in there lately. What's up, Carito? Oh, yeah, working out does pretty good. That's what I do uh, three days a week. I do the wrestling. I have wrestling practice. Just join them. Yeah, 316, I'll see you. I'm not too far out behind you, actually. Yeah, I'm going to call the night, too, guys. Make sure you go and gas, gas today's video up. After this stream is over, go like and comment. Uh, and yeah, I, I'll just see you guys tomorrow. I'll have a video out tomorrow and I will live stream. I've been wanting to try the vertical streaming out. I've seen people doing it like JKB and a couple other people. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the Discord if you're in there already. Uh, come in, say hi and chat, hang out. I don't promote the Discord enough. Let me see if I can have the thing... See if that's a command. I don't think I have it set up for... Oh, there it is. See, Botrix just posted the Discord. If you guys could come in, join the Discord, come say hi for a few minutes while I try to get sleepy. I'll talk to you till I get sleepy. We could whisper sweet nothings to each other. <laughs> we could whisper sweet nothings to each other and uh, have a good evening. But I'll, I'll see you guys later. I appreciate y'all. Y'all have... A good rest of your night, and uh, I'll see you around. Take care, guys. I appreciate y'all. Bye.